BBC Radio Leeds. 20 to 10, it is now BBC Radio Leeds. It's Alex Belfield in the morning. Now, if you've just got back from your holidays, like my producer Sue today, you've been in France or Spain or somewhere nice and delicious, lying on a beach looking at yourself in the reflection of the sea, uh, spare a thought for TV comedian Dom Jolly, who spent the last few months sightseeing in some of the world's most depressing places uh, all around the world. He's been on his travels. He's been skiing in Iran. He spent uh, a weekend in Chernobyl. He even went to Mansfield and North Korea. Uh, Dom joins us on the programme now. Good morning, Dom. How are you doing, Alex? Are you all right? Uh, why? Why? Why are you doing this? Because they're amazingly interesting places to travel. They're certainly not depressing. North Korea was a little depressing, I have to be honest. Hmm. But uh, they're definitely not depressing. I, I don't know. I just I grew up in Lebanon and, uh, you know, it was a country which everyone kind of knew for having a war and stuff. But I also knew that there were amazing things there as well. Hmm. And I just get really bored travelling to supposedly normal places which are, you know to me travel is about going somewhere new and sort of discovering new things and I don't want to go somewhere and eat at McDonald's and have a Starbucks What about the idea of going on a beach and relaxing and eating nice food though wouldn't that be nice? Well, I'm not averse to that and uh, I do that with my kids and stuff but that's a family holiday and I get bored stupid You spent a weekend at Chernobyl tell me about that When the reactor exploded in 1986 they sort of sealed it off and then they moved everyone out and there's a 50 mile exclusion zone around it and you can only go in there for about three four hours and you've got geiger counters beeping away but it's absolutely incredible this place hasn't been touched since then so it's like a snapshot of soviet russia on that day mm -hmm. and there's a whole town called pripyat had 50,000 people there and it's just completely deserted it's one of the spookiest places i've ever been to but uh really extraordinary so if it's now like a holiday camp then do they do the chernobyl knees contest <laughs> stop it <sighs> you didn't like that there's tumbleweed going mm. <laughs> you don't <laughs> no, seem no. very funny this morning don what's the matter are you all right I'm fine. <laughs> I saw you on BBC Breakfast. Is it because you were up early? I'm in serious mood. <laughs> Are you? This book, then, you're coming to sign it in uh, Leeds. You'll be at Waterstones on September 8th, called The Dark Tourist. Um, do you right. think people are going to take after your kind of uh, theory of going to places that you would never dream of going? Is that the idea? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm certainly not trying to promote people to go there. I think, uh, you know, certain type of people like those sort of destinations and they're the ones that will go there and, uh, you know, others will go to the beach. I think, you know, I don't want everyone suddenly flocking into Iran because then it'll become like everywhere else. But I think for a certain type of people, I think it is amazing. I think people should think about maybe going to some of these places because they're not nearly... Put it this way, I'm, I've, I've, in all the places I went for this book, you know, Chernobyl, Iran, Cambodia, North Korea, I felt more frightened on the streets of Sirencester at 11 in the evening than in any of those places. I was going to say, have you been to work, Sop? That doesn't terrify you. Um, can we talk about Trigger Happy TV? Because it's one of my favourite things. I have all the DVDs and never missed an episode. Um, uh -huh. When are you going to bring it back? Because it was so funny. Uh... I don't know. I kind of part of me. Well, I, I kind of always didn't want to bring it back. I wanted to stop it when we stopped it. But you know, I have. I have to admit that I've got quite a lot of ideas recently that I quite like. But I'm sort of thinking about doing a movie, uh, a sort of hidden camera movie. So that might be what we do. I don't know. Hmm. I'm kind of very averse to bringing things back. I, I can't really think of anything that's ever been brought back that was good or better. Anyway. Oh, I don't know. Sue Pollard's career. I saw her in Annie last week. I mean, she was very good the first time in Heidi High. Yeah, well, there's always the exception, but mm. it is a rare thing. <laughs> and the great thing about that programme was, I mean, it had kind of been done before, but never the way you'd done it. The music illustrated it beautifully. It was brilliantly shot. People do ask the question, though, were they in on it? Well, of course they weren't. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a hidden camera show. <laughs> I've enjoyed talking to you today, and uh, the new book, The Dark Tourist, is out. It's uh, coming to Leeds with you at Waterstones. Are you all right with the public? Do you like meeting people? Are you smiley and happy when you see them? I'm very, very smiley and happy when I meet them, yeah. Is it just me you don't like? Is that what it is? <laughs> Uh, I have no opinion about you whatsoever. <laughs> you you haven't, have you? To Couldn't me. care less. All right, thank you, Dom Jolly. His new book, uh, Dark Tourist, is out now. You can see him in Waterstones on September 8th. I'll be there. I tried my hardest with that. I'm sorry. I, I have to be honest with you. I've been in this game a long time, and I've met a lot of really, really important people. Politicians to international celebs. I've been around their houses. And I have to apologise to you, my listener. That was the worst interview I've done in 15 years. Dom Jolly was clearly not interested in a word I had to say. Say, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you down.
I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. And uh, I won't be buying his new book. That's all I'm telling you. 0845 303 is my telephone number. If you want to get through this morning, let's see how we go with Jeff, who wants to talk about dangerous dogs from earlier. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Did Alex. you hear that interview just then? I did, yes. w- was, was it me, or was he not interested in me? He was not interested. That's the opinion I get. Don't you think that was strange, bearing in mind he'd got a book to plug? Yes, I do, yes. And was I rude to him? I thought I was really complimentary. I thought you was good, yes. Yeah. Never happened before in my career, that. I'm sorry, Jeff, I've let you down, and I don't like doing that. Oh, no, you haven't let us down. We won't have him back on again, I promise. It's a funny thing you're saying you'll let me down. Alex Belfield, in the morning. BBC Radio Leeds.